Yo, what's up? This is just a quick video explaining how to get more performance out of your Cyberpunk 2077 as of the 18th of December 2020. Uh, the current update has still not fixed this and it's a manual patch. So I will just explain how to do it. Um, just before we get into it though, I would like to give out a warning. It's a manual patch, which means it does come with a little bit of risk, but this one is so safe and it's incredibly easy to revert so if you do end up experiencing crashes just quickly change the file and i'll show you how to revert it at the end of the video right well let's get into it so first off what you want to do is you want to open up notepad <laughs> this isn't necessary but it's just where i'm going to be recording the stuff so then you want to right click your taskbar quick task manager and yours will probably look like this to start off with um, what you want to do from there is click more details then you want to go to performance click on memory and this value in the top right will tell you the maximum amount of memory you have that's your dram so i have 32 gigabytes so i'm just gonna write 32 gigabytes dram down and then what you want to do is you want to scroll down and you should have a gpu here and you just want to click it and then scroll down a bit and just here it should say your dedicated gpu memory so it's the value after the forward slash that's the maximum amount so you just want to note that down i've noted eight gigabytes of vram and if you can't see um any gpu there or you can't get onto task manager what you want to do is run go to this link in the description below click free download when the exe is downloaded i download this all the time <laughs> i like to bench out my pc i do a lot of overclocking uh so when it's downloaded just click We'll click it and run it leave it to run it will test all your stuff you don't really care about the test but it will spit you out to a link and it will tell you all your specifications so you're looking for the maximum capacity of ram you have and the dedicated vram of your graphics card so i'll leave that to open and then we will uh, move on All right, that took absolutely ages. Sorry about the way. Um, but yeah, so once you've done that, I've got everything open. So mine's just a disappointing one this time. But yeah, so once you've done that, you want to scroll down and you'll be able to see what model of graphics card you have. Just search that up or you can check there how much RAM it has. So mine has eight gigabytes. And then you want to go to your memory kit and have a look at how much you've got there. It'll say a value 30 gigabytes. So not that down. I've got 30 gigabytes of DRAM and then eight gigabytes of VRAM. So again, that's an alternate method. The link's in the description to download the EXE and it'll just tell you it just in case you can't get it from your task manager. So now you've got these two values. What you wanna do is you wanna go to where your game file is on your game directory uh, for Steam users. So it's simple as just go to manage, well, right click your game, go to manage, click browse local files. It'll pop up with the game directory nice and simple if you can't if you're not on steam or if you can't manage to get to this game directory i, I recommend looking it up online i'm not going to go into it in this because it's very simple and <laughs> i don't want to keep this i want to keep this nice and short so you want to click on engine config and then you'll be into this file this is where we're going to be changing stuff we're going to be changing one file specifically called memory underscore pool underscore budgets dot csv um everyone has notepad so i'm going to be using notepad but you can use visual code you can use visual studio you can use i wouldn't recommend using excel but it's possible um and you can also use atom and other text headers so i recommend before you touch any of this just hit in copy or control c and click in paste or control v just so you have a nice copy there so in case you need to roll it back or revert it you can do that very simply and i'll tell you how to do that at the end of the video right so we're going to open up the csv uh, i'm going to open up the copy version because i've already done this obviously so i need the original one and when you open it it should look something like this so this is basically how much or what the tag is rather i believe um that cyberpunk is trying to hit of the memory usage on your pc we're really only interested in these two lines i've heard nothing about whether these two whether these lines make any differences but if they do i'd keep checking the reddit post in the description which is by the way the source of all the information in this video um but yeah these are the two lines that are going to matter the most so that's the ones we're going to be changing so if you now look at what you had earlier so i'm going to put up some recommendations of what you want to be putting into this file here 
depending on what you've got in your computer so for example if you've got 32 gigabytes of ram the maximum i'd recommend even dedicating to any game ever would be 16 gigabytes uh, if you've got 16 gigabytes i'd recommend dedicating 10 if you've got eight i recommend dedicating around six and stuff like that so a blow away i'm not going to give any recommendations i'd stick it on maybe four something like that it is basically as much as you can um i'm giving you safe estimates on the recommendations here just because i don't want to cause any crashes but you can test it and push it up as much as you want because you've got a fallback and then for your vram here it's very simple all you want to do is go into the calculator and then just type 0 0.75 times um your value so for me it's eight and that's just three quarters of your vram you can put it up as far as you want again these are just the safe values that i tend to run it on so what you once you've figured out those two values so 16 gigabytes what we refer to is 16 and this is six so i've got 66 gigabytes for my vram and 16 gigabytes for my cpu ram or dram and then you want to go up to the file here and you want to use these new values you've just got so in pool cpu you want to put what your dram value is so i had 32 gigabytes maximum so i recommend dedicating 16 gigabytes and then just make sure that the semicolon is aligned using spaces um pool gpu i had eight gigabytes maximum and i timed that by 0 0.75 or got three quarters of it which gives you six gigabytes and then just slide those semicolons along with spaces and that is literally it so i've just dedicated more ram and more vram to the game just hit ctrl s i'll save it exit and you've now got a copy of the original file in case you need to roll back and a edited main file which will be used in your game if you really want and i wouldn't recommend this but if it's not working at all and you just want a last ditch effort you can type zero so just like that nothing else no gigabytes no nothing like that just zero and then align the semicolon and that'll basically mean that it's dynamically and it gets computed at the start i don't know many people are using that option but it's an option if nothing else is working uh, but yeah so there you go so now just run the game and you should have better performance okay and now it's the end of the video so i'm just going to go over how to revert the settings so you should have a copy csv file all you want to do is delete the one that doesn't say copy and then rename the copy one to uh, memory underscore pool underscore budgets with none of nothing additional just a dot csv just like that like the original file and hit enter so that has just replaced your edited version with the copy version which is um the original file you can also just put the original values in these are the original values here in case you didn't make a copy file and just put them back in and it has reverted everything and it shouldn't be any less stable but again you aim to end up getting 20 to 50 percent extra per fps uh, it's going to be less jittery it's going to crash less often there's a bunch of boosts that come from doing it and i've not seen any drawbacks but it's just because of the manual patch you need to be aware that it could happen okay thank you so much for watching the video and uh, in a bit